swimming is the probably the most critical activity the fish perform. Uh, it's fundamental to all aspects of uh, its survival, including uh, feeding, uh, finding food, avoiding predators, finding a place to live, uh, migration, so moving uh, back and forth, and even reproduction, uh, as many fish move to specific spawning grounds each year. So if there's any, perf any effect on the swimming performance and the cost of swimming different places, uh, then it'll directly affect fitness, evolutionary fitness, how that species will survive. Uh, we basically use a fish treadmill, if you want to call it that. Just like you and me, when we're working harder, we're running or whatever, we're using more oxygen. Same thing with the fish. So we have a, a, a sealed chamber, essentially, where with a propeller in there, we can control the water flow as it goes around, and that the fish have to swim against that. And as it's swimming at different speeds, um, we can monitor or record the oxygen consumption of the animal and therefore oxygen consumption, just like in humans, converts directly to calories burned. Where we can change the temperature, we can change uh, food availability, we can change swimming speeds, we can change scents, whatever we want to change. So that we can address a lot of different ecological questions with these sorts of swimming trials, as well as just identifying if there's any changes in maximum performance. For instance, the fastest a fish can swim, that will relate directly to um, where it can maneuver to in the wild, but also if it can escape predators that are generally quite a bit faster than these guys. As well as the general cost of, of moving around. If you're migrating somewhere which is hundreds or thousands of miles away, if there's a change in the cost of doing that of say five or 10%, that's a huge amount. Uh, if you're losing 10% more energy or body weight or whatever it is on the way to these spawning grounds, for instance, when you get there, you're going to be infinitely worse off than all your neighbors that didn't get affected by oil, potentially. We don't know the effect yet, but that's what we're looking at. <laughs>